guys, it's Tracy and I'm back today with a new video with the Wet n Wild, the new uh, tin pan palettes that they came out with. So I was going to show you the swatches on them and um, I also have some of the new liquid uh, shadow things, the foundation stick and the loose highlighter so I was gonna just swatch all of that stuff and then let you know my thoughts on them so I'm gonna let's see we'll start out with the one called stop playing safe and I'm gonna pause and do the swatches and then come back okay so the swatches for the stop playing safe palette are here this palette has a lot of very light shades and they're quite similar to each other so if you have a darker skin tone I don't know that a lot of these colors here are going to show up I mean they're barely showing up on my skin here and these are just one passes they're not like I didn't build them up or anything so the shimmers in this are really really nice but these mattes are so light I mean these four shades all look pretty similar and I'm guessing they're probably going to look pretty similar on the eye as well. Next up, we're going to swatch Cosmic Collision. And this is what I have on my eyes today. And I think this look turned out really, really pretty. This is the one I have all over the lid. So let me go ahead and swatch those. And I'll be okay, right Okay, here are the swatches for Cosmic Collision. And this is what I have on today. So... This one, the, the shimmers in here are really, really nice. I find in all of these, the shimmers are great. The mattes are really blendable and it doesn't take a lot of blending and a lot of effort. So um, this black was super, super pigmented. Love this color here. And then these other shimmers down here, they're all really, really nice. So I've been really impressed with these. So that was Cosmic Collision. Next up, we'll do VI Purple. Okay, here are the swatches for VI Purple. And um, same thing, these the shimmers are really, really nice. I wore this gold all over the lid, and it's just really pretty. I didn't wet my brush. Mattes are the same formula as the others, really nice and blendable. Um, some of the mattes are in all over this whole thing they're kind of light like even for me this right here is you know just like a cream color so it is kind of light for me even so some of the lighter matte shades you know I don't know that they're gonna work on a lot of people unless you set your primer I don't set my primer so that would just be more like I guess a buffing for the edges maybe but yeah those are the VI purple Next up, we're going to do, lastly, of the palettes, is the My Glamour Squad. So here are the swatches for the My Glamour Squad. And this is supposed to be a dupe for the um, ABH Soft Glam. This one's really nice if you're looking for just like a neutral, like every day you can wear it to work. You can't get crazy with your eye looks. I think this one is a really nice one. You've got this really matte, dark matte black. And the um, transition shades are really nice. The shimmers are really, really pretty. Love this gold here. And I haven't had any problems. I've used all of these now. And I really like them. And the one I have on today, this is actually one of my favorite looks that I've done. And that's with Cosmic Collision. And I didn't really think I was going to like this one. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia... Oh, what's it called? It was a holiday from last year. I can not I can think of the dupe from Bad Habit called Aura. But, um, gosh, what was that palette? I can't remember what it's called. But this was a dupe for... Oh, the Prism palette. So that's what this is supposed to be. And I like this better than I like the dupe from Bad Habit called Aura. I don't ever reach for that one, but I like this one. I like the look that I created today. So those are the swatches from that. And now I can just go ahead and swatch. This is the, one of the Liquid Catsuit Shimmers, and this is Fairy Tale Ending. Let's see, just put that there. There's that. 
really pretty. These are really easy to work with. And this one is one of their metallics and it's called Ruby Heist. I just in, um, take a brush and like paint this onto my brush and then I add it to my eyes that way. And then I did get one of their cream shadow and this one is called Putty in My Hands. And I've been using this for an eyeshadow base instead of a primer because it is pretty close to my skin tone. So I've been using this as a primer and it's been working really good. I haven't been getting creasing or anything and my shadows last a really long time. And then we have the loose highlighter here, which is called I'm So Lit. And let's see. That's what I have on today in my inner corner and on my cheeks. I really like this one. I love this formula. This is like the third loose highlighter now that I have. And I mean, I'm never, ever, ever going to run out of loose highlighter because I mean, I can only imagine how long it's gonna to take to go through those. And then I got the foundation stick and I got mine in buff beige. I went off of what I had in the um, cushion foundation. This is the same shade. So I thought that this would probably match. So let's see. Let me just put it on my hand here. So there's that. Let's see how it blends out. It blends out really nice. It's not real like thick and heavy. I mean, that blended out really, really nice. It matches my skin pretty well. Now, once we get it up to the face, we'll see. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm going to try that out this week, one day, I think. So those are all of the new Wet n Wild um, items that I picked up. Uh, I've used everything except for the foundation stick, so I can tell you that I really liked all of this. The eyeshadow palettes are great I, for $4.99, and if you can catch them on sale, they've been on sale at Walgreens this week for $3 for $10. So if you can catch them there on sale, even if they're not on sale for $4.99, I think they're still getting a really good deal. You're getting a nice, you know, palette if you need, you know, like I said, the everyday. Which one did you want to wear? Did you have an opinion? The My Glamour Squad, I think, is really good for, you know, every day. And, I mean, all of these, none of them are very, like, really, really crazy and out there. And they all have a good amount of transition along with neutral shades. So I think if you got any of these, you'd be happy with them. And then they do give you, like, a little thing on the back. Like, a little, if you don't know where to put your eyeshadow, you know, it kind of helps you just with which colors to put where. So I think for $4.99, they're a really great buy. And then if you can get them on sale, even better. So that's going to do it for this really short, quick video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hope you will subscribe before you leave. I hope you guys all have a great day or night, wherever you are. And we will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.